Hey yo captains, how are you doing my fellow friends? So we know that Qatar Airways has a total of 8 Airbus A330 freighters. Well, according to the latest reports, they could be the second airline about to end its A330 operations in the Middle East after Etihad Airways. Now the plan is for the airline to return three A330 freighters to its leaser when the leasing agreement finishes in 2019 and the remaining five will be sold to another airline. This is actually great news because leases and airlines will flood the market with the freighter, which would create a price competition, allowing airlines who couldn't purchase the plane before to buy one at a very good price. Now to replace those planes, the airline is looking at the triple sound freighters instead due to its longer range and higher payload. The airline already has 13 triple sound freighters in its fleet and if they order 5 more, then it will make them the second largest triple sound freighter operator after FedEx. Now Airbus recently delivered two A330 freighters, one to Turkish Airlines and one to Etihad, which is now parked. Since January 2017, Boeing has logged 13 confirmed orders for the Chupasam freighter, comprising of four for Ethiopian Airlines, three for Turkish Airlines, two for ANA, one for FedEx and three for undisclosed customers. Also in April 2018, Qatar signed a letter of intent for five Chupasam freighters. This would bring Boeing's Chopper Sound Freighter orders to 18 since January 2017. And if we include Qatar's letter of intent, Boeing has 43 outstanding orders for the Chopper Sound Freighter, more than 38 A330 freighters that have ever been produced. Now we know that the A330 and the 777 are highly successful programs, along with their passenger variants. But for the cargo version, there's no doubt about it that the Chopper Sound Freighter has found more success. Now what are your thoughts on this captains? Do you think that Airbus should invest in the A350 freighter? Because I truly believe that it will deliver in terms of resourcefulness and economics far better than the A330. Whether they will go ahead with it or not, we shall wait and see. Let me know what you think in the comments below guys. Thank you so much for watching my friends. Remember to like and subscribe for more aviation news and I'll catch you guys in the next video.